Oh, wow. Okay, so interestingly enough, if um, I don't know if there are a lot of cross watchers or if you are watching other uh, reading other videos that I've done for the other signs, I feel like you guys have the best uh, spread in the deck compared to all the other signs. So, which is good news. Um, let me just talk about your spiritual advice, okay? And the spiritual advice is this card right here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. This is sort of like your time has come. And if you look at the spread, I do do reversals. With this in the upright position, it's saying the time is now. Green light, go for it, move ahead. Try to gain traction in your life. You know, um, get the get the ball rolling for yourself or the balls in your court is also what I'm hearing. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's sort of like whatever has been stalled, whatever you feel has been like has really weighed you down. You're getting a burst of buoyant energy where you feel hopeful, where you feel light, where you feel like finally life is moving the way that I want. And I feel this is greatly love and work, okay? So finances, love, and work. Um, reach for the stars and do it big, okay? So this is a card that guarantees you're not going to, you know, fall off a cliff and hurt yourself. You're not going to be turned down and, and you know, um, and, and be embarrassed in front of a bunch of people. No matter what happens, it's divinely guided and it's your time to shine. So you've got some really wonderful things coming into the picture. First of all, we have here the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is sort of like um, dealing with somebody who has been sneaky, who has been kind of like, I feel, talking about you behind your back. Somebody who is very... They see your success. And I feel like you don't disclose what you're doing. You're kind of keeping to yourself. Uh, you've been working really, really hard to gain the success. You're almost there. And I feel like other people might be a little bit envious of you. Okay. They feel like they can steal your thunder. They feel like they can steal things from right under you. And as a result of it, we have as well, crossing you, we have the judgment card, which is Whoever is doing this, whoever is being sneaky, whoever is being vindictive, whoever has been gossiping and especially, you know, stealing things from under you, they're going to get their day of reckoning. They're going to get reveal. Um, this is not about putting people on blast, even though it can be. This is kind of like people that you've been really good to. You know, it doesn't even have to be family. It could be anybody that you've um, you've helped along the way. They're coming to your rescue. They're coming to kind of like, you know, when you're at the pearly gate and they weigh your heart against the feather. The people that you've helped along the way, they're going to be there and they're going to say like, the Sagittarius helped me when I was dealing with this. And they don't even have to be major, major um instances where you help somebody you know in a life or de death situation it could just be out of the kindness of your heart you've done some good deeds and i feel like the day for these good deeds to come back around it's like good karma coming back around is here okay so whoever is trying to you know smear your name slander you make you look bad or whoever's stealing your ideas whatever that situation is i feel like it's done and over with because you have a lot of divine protection on the other side. So good for you, Sagittarius. In the foundation, we have here the Page of Wands. And this is sort of like you feeling, honestly, where I'm at right now, the environment is very barren. Look at him in the desert, okay? Um, no offense to desert dwellers. It's just what I'm picking up in this card. The place where I'm at is not very produ productive for growth. It's not conducive for expansion and it's barren. I, it's hard for me to connect to, to the people here. I just don't feel like I really belong. And I want to go to a place that is more lush, more green, more fertile. And so you've been planning this escape. You've been planning this move for quite some time. And I feel like along the way, you were battling yourself, you know, what locations, choices, decisions, do I move by land? Do I want to go overseas? Do I move by air? How am I going to logistically move all of my stuff? Am I leaving some potentially good things behind? Am I making the right choice? 
Yes, there are, you know, elements of sneaky people or people I don't like in my work environment, but there are also a lot of people that I, I like. There are a lot of things that I enjoy about this location. Am I making the right choice? Is it too um, heartless of me to just up and move and disregard, you know, who else wants me to stay? So I feel like you've been grappling with this decision for quite some time, possibly since the um, time of cancer. So that is, um, let me see the June time frame, like late June all the way into July, you've been battling with this. You've been trying to justify this decision. But the point is, life moves on, right? Opportunities call. Life is always going to be calling you. And as the, you know, um, your ruler is Jupiter, so you're always inspired to travel, to meet new people, to be in an environment where it feels new, it feels foreign, it feels um, unique. And so you might have, you know, justify the decision, staying put, and then something I feel happened recently where you're like, okay, enough's enough. Yes, it sucks that I'm going to have to move, or yes, it sucks that I'm going to have to, you know, drastically change the trajectory of my life, possibly with my career as well. But I have to do it because I know deep down that where I'm at right now is a little bit barren and I have a lot more potential and I have more opportunities that are in store for me. So what you're really looking at here is the Wheel of Fortune, which is proving you right. It's like your intuition is already picking up this energy. And I feel like this is something that came in possibly in the October time frame where it's turning your life around, okay? New opportunities for expansion, for studying, for... I usually look at this as like, you know, getting into the grad school or the, the, the college of your choice, being able to travel for a work gig, being able to expand your knowledge, feeling like you're at a state of completion where you finally understand what needs to be done. You finally understand your skills, your potential, your assets, and you're not settling for anything less. And external to your environment, we do have the Empress here. So for some of you, this could be new inspiration coming in because, you know, there is um, a new child coming into the picture, somebody who's pregnant around you, or new uh, inspiration. And external to you as well with the Empress. Let's pull out a few cards. I feel like fertile ground. Remember how I mentioned this is like barren and, and desert-like? You want a place that is more lush, that is more abundant. So that's also made available for you as well. So is this a person... This is somebody that is showing an interest in you, okay? This is you waiting around for them. So I feel like this is um, somebody that has had a contentious, quite a contentious relationship with you. And some things had to break down for them to finally step forward. Okay, some things have to break down. So communication barriers, letting your guard down, no longer fighting for things for them to move forward and step up and, and, and move and make some type of a gesture towards you. I feel like this person is tied in here with the Five of Cups. If you go, you're going to leave them behind. They're going to be completely out of the picture. Will you be okay with that? And I feel like you're getting some confirmation that there's going to be some type of an offer or some type of truce between the two of you because with this tower situation, it's not really conducive for growth. However, it's in the reverse position followed by the page of cups. They're letting their walls down and they're letting the barriers down. And I feel like sometimes it takes some really major extreme changes for us to realize what our heart wants and what our heart desires. So I feel like somebody is opening up to you and they're making an offer towards you. In your hopes and fears, we have this situation where you are fearing the new place I'm at or the new things that I'm undertaking or the new venture that I'm about to roll out. Is it going to promise me the financial prosperity and the abundance? Am I taking, you know, like, um, am I taking a gamble on this? What if it doesn't pan out? And in your outcome, we have here two new aces, okay? So this is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new job coming in. This is an offer that's going to be amazing for you. And it's going to make you feel not only that your intuition was right all along, that you were promised or you were destined for a lot more than where you're at right now, okay? Where you're at right now is the page energy. 
and where you're headed, I feel with the this as the spiritual advice, you were right to feel unsettled because change was coming. You were right to seek opportunities elsewhere because something amazing is coming into the picture for you. So this is a new job. And not only is it a job, it has um, promotion potential, it has longevity, it has stability, and it's going to drastically change your life, okay? This is like embarking on a new path that is destined for you. It's not gonna be an easy process, but it's going to be a very amazing journey. And we have a new love that's coming into the picture for you with the Ace of Cups here. This is you putting your guard down or the other person putting their guard down, no longer clinging on to how things should be, but just kind of existing in the moment and let what will be to come into the picture for you. So you're letting go of a lot of control issues here, Sagittarius. You're learning to be a little bit more in tune with the universe, in tune with your intuition, and ready to kind of, it's like being nimble on your feet and being quick on your feet to grab new opportunities when they come into the picture okay so you're being handsomely rewarded for this week for especially that last last week's reading um either way you have some amazing things that are coming into the picture so i'm going to see in terms of love what's available for you because i feel like that has always been the sore spot for you guys Who is coming in for love for Sagittarius? Can you give me a few cards to clarify? I have air sign. Oh, double air sign. Somebody who might be a double air sign. So um, I know that we had a Sagittarius Aquarius coupling for a while. And then also Sagittarius, Gemini, because you guys are polar opposites. So I have somebody who might be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, or a double air sign. So they might have like a Aquarius, um, Sun, Gemini, Moon, Gemini, Sun, Libra, Moon, those combinations. Um, with the Page of Swords, this is somebody who's willing to communicate, okay? They're still a little bit prickly, but they're willing to communicate and the way that i see this is you know they they want to offer they want to give you that offer but once again air signs are so prickly it's really hard to read their intentions they might you know offer you like a piece of fruit and they're like here and rather than saying um i want you to eat this or you know i i saw this and thought you might like it they can say like you need to eat more fruits you know the way they communicate it can be a little bit like um, you might feel like it's a little bit immature you might feel like it's um, it's very nonchalant but the bottom line is with air signs if they are communicating with you they like you if they don't communicate with you they don't like you they will avoid the people they don't like and they will not you know say good morning how was your day how was your weekend they, they could care less and so the fact that they're communicating with you means that they like you. Even if the communication is difficult, hard to understand, mixed messages, whatever it is, if they're communicating with you, just know that they like you. So Sagittarius, this will simplify life a lot more, okay? So I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. Uh, once again, I'm using this method mainly because of time constraints. Next week, I might go back to the two spreads, okay? But we'll see. Um, this is a lot faster for me because I shuffle the cards ahead of time and then I just split the deck and, you know, do the um, Celtic cross spread. But either way, I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it is ha um, helpful for you. And you've got a lot of good things coming in for this week. So keep your head, um, keep your head up and, you know, try to just enjoy things that come in, okay? I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Take care of yourself. I'm really happy to see this for you in opposition to, you know, last week's reading. Okay, take care, Sagittarius. Bye bye.